Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Steam. And I welcome you back to my playthrough of GTA 5 for the first time in like two months. And I'm sorry about that, but I got sick. Yeah, I wasn't able to talk clearly. And the sciences are still kind of stuffed up, but I hope you won't notice that too well. Hey, let me get off my uh, bike. And of course, we're here getting ready to do. Franklin's Hood mission. Uh, wait a minute. Fix your accent. Wow. Okay. Of course, we're going to be doing Franklin's mission, like I said. And then afterward, we're going to do uh, Lester's assassination mission. One of them, really. Here we go. Now, don't you step foot in this yard! Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm going to call the police. For what? Oh, this please. loyalty, boy. This loyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy, yo. You ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old man, ignoring your homie, acting all superior? Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where's Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say... Who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Who is this man? man? What is this man? Just wrong, come man? on. Yeah, sorry I had to mute the mic right there, but sniffling is really no uh, noticeable. And I didn't. Where's this? Shut up. Thing happening down Grove Street. Oh, Grove Street. And it's not the same Grove Street as in GTA San Andreas. Not the same thing. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, and you may notice that this mission involves a uh, stretch setting up deal. Everyone knows this what happens. Right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Go to the house, all right? Excuse me. Hey, be on point. This fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. 
How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said. You're leaving. Hey, come on. Give me that. Whoa. Give me that back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing right here, but a lot of people said that Trevor himself was crazy, but... Well, he is crazy, but he is not stupid. And because he's been in the drug trade for so long, he can spot fake drugs from a mile away. Like, for instance, right here, he thought they were getting scammed. And Trevor called it. And he wanted to taste the other side of the brick because he saw that Lamar's throat was getting numb. And Coke doesn't make your throat go numb. At least from what a lot of users have stated. They've also stated that a lot of times their vision can narrow out when they even take some of that stuff. But Trevor initially starts to suspect if it might have been a fake. And when he grabbed it, it immediately ripped apart and it showed that it was drywall. So he called it. So yeah, this proved that Trevor was really, really smart. He can easily spot a fake deal from a mile away. Anyway, let's get back to the mission. wasn't paying attention <laughs> yeah sorry about that where was I Lagging out. Uh, Hands in the air. You 
Damn, what's going on here? Man. Sorry about that. Hey, they taking clip shit! What the fuck are you doing? Let's do this! Damn, it's stinking this motherfucker! Shit ain't no river, man! It's a motherfucking sewer! Then we're in the right place! I gotta go out into open water. I can dodge them more easily that way. Okay. Keep an eye on the map. Alright, we dodged the cops. Yeah, I wasn't going for a hundred percent. And I can find a place to to make my landing. I got this area right here. And anyone who remembers those uh, GTA Online missions, they will know what I'm talking about. Still catching waves. Man, how far am I from the coast? Oh wait, never mind, I can just get off over here. Okay, water races. Take it forever, I get it. Okay, I think I can get off over here. Jack one of these vehicles. Anyway. Okay, we're coming up on uh, Lester right now. And this is the first assassination mission. And what the hell is going on up here?
So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment, but we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Man. So we're going to be... Yo, where you at, Lo? <laughs> yeah. We're going to be going after some guy who's been hey, selling artificial hey, erection pills. Boy, he's gonna have this coming. Yeah, if erection pills are putting people on the ground, then you know you have a problem. Yep. I know there was something like this in real life, I can't put my finger on it though. No pun intended. Out of my way, Bel Air. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry about the video issues right now. I've I've been having these for the last several days. Even when I'm not recording. I mean, it could be my computer, because I've had the same computer for all six years. Yeah, I gotta upgrade my computer at some point. Because a lot of people told me that I can get at least four, maybe five good years out of this particular computer. I don't know if that's true, though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Guys are right to pick up the target. I plan to attack him and find a good location with a vantage point of, of the hotel. Oh, okay, there we go. These guys are not the target. Oh, my van is still going. Yeah, they're going to be hearing that uh, van right there. And he's going to be getting into this vehicle right here. Man, if this was a completely open mission, 
Yeah, if this was a complete open, open style game like, uh, let's say, uh, Red Faction Gorilla, then we could have easily sniped him through one of those windows, depending on what room he's in. Here he comes. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Hammer down. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. Yeah, I shot him as soon as he was getting in the car. Okay, got his head shot off. Nice. Okay, that's an easy 9,000. Hey, it's done. I know, good work. All right, well, she, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Okay, it's been moved into Hollywood Hills, all right. Well, let's go check out this house, shall we? This looks like a high school here. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Sounded like someone just took a dive. Uh, actually, you know what? Ah, come on. I'll hold off on that. Well, anyway, we're gonna, um,. Actually, no, I'll do the do Trevor's mission later. But anyway, I'll find a good place to end the video. And that house is under construction. Alright, I'll stop here. Actually, let me pull off the road. Excuse me. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. Well, if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Ring the bell to get notified. I will see you guys later on in the next part. Take care, everyone.